Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. In the last video, I talked about post-spawn baits, and one of the ones that I talked about, one of the baits that I talked about, was a popper. This is the Striking KVD Splash. There's so many different popper type baits like this on the market, and um, essentially what they are, there's a top, they're a topwater bait with a cupped mouth, in case you're not familiar with it. And when it sits on the water, the tail might be, it might kind of at rest be tail down in a tail down position where the feather actually is, is dropping down. Sometimes they just kind of sit level. Depends on the make that you have. Some have rattles, some are just silent. But the popper is a great topwater bait, specifically in the post bond. But it's a great topwater bait anytime. And I guess, uh, you know, years ago they were more popular. Seems like, um, you guys are throwing more frogs and popping type frogs as of late, but the poppers are just a tremendous post spawn bait. And one of the things that I talked about in that video was uh, a tip that I was talking about was to tie a loop knot. Now, sometimes you get your poppers and they come with a little split ring and that's a good thing, but the split ring adds a little bit more weight and at rest, the split ring kind of drops down at the, in the resting position, and sometimes it'll hook that front hook. Try, try to get to, to, dis, to display that or to demonstrate that. It'll do that, and you'll have a wasted cast. Just some tips about fishing a popper. This is not like a buzz bait or a walking type bait where you're just covering a tremendous amount of water. This is a type of bait where I'm gonna place it right there and just bloop, 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 and I'm trying to draw the fish from that little area. This is more like, a, I heard somebody say, this is more like a sniper type bait where you throw it to a place where you believe a fish is. Every once in a while it's on a flat or something like that. And, and sometimes guys pop it real fast. They don't stop it. Just pop, 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 and just keep it coming. But a lot of times just a pop, pop and a, and a pause and the bait just kind of comes to a rest like this and then a fish will, will eat it. But one of the things about it is when you pop, pop, pop and stop it, that, uh, that line likes to lay like this. What I was trying to say is that you could ruin your cast if the line drops down and captures that. So one tip that I would say is to tie a loop knot. And I talked a little bit about that in the post bond video. And I just wanted to do a demonstration of the loop knot. And that's the point of this video is tying a loop knot for your popper. And the reason for that is when you don't tie directly to the line tie, essentially what you have is more freedom for the bait to move and get all the bait, all the bait's action out of it because you're not just cinching it right on that, on the line tie to kind of demonstrate a little bit. It doesn't get the same sort of action. So when you have that loop knot, it definitely does it more of a service. So I'm gonna kind of demonstrate the loop knot. I have not been a fan of the loop knot or not that I didn't like it, but for years I didn't tie it. I uh, just kind of went with a, you know, a snap or just tied it direct and didn't give it much thought, but it definitely makes a difference. And so I wanted to share with you guys, basically this video is about how to tie a loop knot. So essentially you've got your bait and what you start with before you even put, get the bait up there is you're just going to tie an overhand knot, just like that. And hopefully you guys can see that, nothing special. Might be better without my hand there. But I just have a little overhand knot. I might have three or four inches of extra line there. Then I'm gonna run that tag end through the eye. And then once I go through the eye, I'm going back through the bottom section of that loop. And then I'm going to run it almost just right down to the edge. And then I'm going to wrap it around three, four, five loops or wraps like this one, two, three, four, five. Just, I'm just basically wrapping that tag end around, oops, let it go there for a second, around uh, the main line. And then I'm going to take that and go back through the loop. Go back through the loop and go through the top side of the loop. I'm trying to demonstrate this. 
basically go through the top side of the loop. And this part is where I'm going to just kind of semi cinch it. And then this is the part where I would wet it before I really get it going. And you basically, essentially, you just pull the tag in and you don't want just a huge tight, just pull on both a little bit. And you don't want just a huge loop, but just something that would be like a snap. So if you can see that well, you just want something that be like a snap without the weight of the metal. So hopefully that is something that you guys could see and follow along. This is one of those tips and tricks videos, something to keep in mind when you're fishing a popper. And the popper is really a great post-spawn bait. Um, it's something that I always reach for this time of year because it definitely catches fish. Fish that are pulling out of spawning areas, uh, they're kind of looking up bluegills, fry, different things like that, shad, minnows, and they're in that shallow water and the popper definitely gets their attention and catches more fish. So try the loop knot whenever you're fishing your popper type baits or your, any of your top waters. I definitely like it more on my poppers. I don't think it's as important on my walking baits because I'm moving them so fast. And uh, then I usually go with a split ring. That's it for now, guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, good fishing.